If you've already watched our detailed video on differential protection of alternators, then you know how vital that system is for detecting internal faults in the generator. But that scheme has its own limitations, especially when it comes to high earthing resistance. And that's exactly what we're diving into today. In this video, we're going to explore a modified differential protection scheme, specifically designed to overcome those limitations and improve sensitivity without compromising system stability. You'll see how a small change in the relay arrangement can make a big difference in performance. So welcome back to Electrology, the place where electrical engineering comes alive through clear concepts and sharp visuals. Hit that like button, drop your thoughts in the comments, and stay tuned till the end. There's a lot of subtle but powerful learning in this one. Let's jump right in. In a traditional differential protection system, the neutral point of the alternator is typically earthed through a high resistance to control fault current levels. But this introduces a serious challenge. When an earth fault occurs near the neutral end of the winding, the current may become too low due to the high earthing resistance. This low fault current isn't always sufficient to trigger the relay unless it's set to a very low threshold. But here's the catch. Setting the relay at a very low current can lead to instability. It might falsely trip during normal heavy load or through faults. So we're caught between two conflicting requirements, high sensitivity for earth faults and system stability under normal and external fault conditions. This is where the modified scheme comes in. By changing the way the relays are connected, we can reduce the earth fault setting without affecting the reliability and stability of the overall system. In this improved scheme, the stator winding of the alternator is still protected by differential protection, but with a twist in the relay connections. Instead of using a single relay per phase, we use two separate phase fault relays for two of the phases and a third earth fault relay. These three relays, two for phase faults and one for earth faults, are interconnected along with a balancing resistance. The two phase relays, named PC and PA in the schematic, are connected in star along with the balancing resistance BR. The earth fault relay, ER, is then connected between the common star point and the fourth wire of the circulating current pilot circuit, not in the phase leg itself. This adjustment ensures that earth fault currents flow primarily through the earth relay, while interphase faults flow through the phase relays. It creates a split responsibility between the relays, allowing for better sensitivity tuning. Under normal conditions, the current at both ends of each phase winding remains the same. That means no current imbalance, and the circulating current in the pilot wires is balanced. As a result, no current flows through the operating coils of any relay, whether phase or earth, and the relays remain inactive. Now suppose an earth fault occurs in one of the phases, say, phase R. Because of this fault, the current in the CTs at both ends of that phase becomes unequal. This difference, or out-of-balance current, now has a clear path. It flows through the earth relay ER and then through the pilot wire to the CT neutral point. This causes the earth relay ER to operate, tripping the breaker and isolating the alternator. In contrast, if a fault occurs between two phases, like a line-to-line -line fault between phase Y and B, the out-of-balance current flows through any two of the three coils, PC, PA, and BR. This current bypasses the earth relay ER entirely. Only the phase relays operate in this case, which is exactly what we want. The earth relay stays inactive, as the fault isn't an earth fault. This selective operation ensures that each relay responds only to the fault type it's designed to detect, improving overall reliability and precision of the protection scheme. Let's now address a critical and often confusing scenario. How this modified protection system handles faults that occur near the neutral point of the stator winding. In a traditional differential protection system, if a fault occurs close to the neutral point, the voltage generated across that fault is quite small. And when the neutral is grounded through a high resistance, as it typically is, this voltage may not be enough to push sufficient fault current through the differential circuit. As a result, the current transformers at both ends of the stator winding may still show nearly equal currents, 
and the relay may not operate. This unprotected region, near the neutral, is a practical limitation in conventional schemes, but the modified setup cleverly overcomes it. Here, the EarthVault Relay, ER, is designed with a much more sensitive setting. Thanks to its direct connection across the pilot wires, even a small imbalance in current, due to a neutral end fault, is sufficient to trigger the relay. The scheme ensures that the ER coil sees the differential current caused by the fault, regardless of the fault's proximity to the neutral terminal. Meanwhile, the phase relays, PA and PC, are set with higher thresholds, so they don't misoperate during low current faults, keeping the system stable during high load or external fault events. So, even faults that would traditionally go undetected near the neutral point are now sensed and cleared reliably without compromising the rest of the system's integrity. That's what makes this protection scheme robust and field-proven. The beauty of this scheme lies in how it separates responsibilities between earth fault and phase fault detection, allowing you to lower the sensitivity setting of the earth relay, making it capable of detecting weak faults near the neutral without triggering during heavy load or through faults. This solves the primary issue of the conventional scheme where sensitivity and stability could not coexist easily. By connecting the relays this way, the protection system becomes more responsive to low current earth faults and avoids nuisance tripping. It's a smart and practical evolution of a proven protection method. So there you have it, the modified differential protection scheme for alternators, built to handle the limitations of the classic system while enhancing fault sensitivity and stability. If this video helped you understand the concept more clearly, go ahead and tap that like button, drop your questions or feedback in the comments. I read every one of them. And don't forget to share this with your batchmates or team. If you'd like to support Electrology in a bigger way, hit the thanks button below to show your appreciation. Or for exclusive content and behind the scenes access, consider becoming a member by clicking the join button. Your support means a lot and helps keep this content high quality and free for everyone. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned, stay curious, and keep learning with Electrology.